And hello there guys, it is Judsko once again bringing you the exploit experience and today we're going to be looking out to far shoot um, to not unlimited ranges because it would just be wildly inaccurate and no penetration but to be able to far shoot with ease um, with different vehicles and AT guns. It works with any vehicle, any AT gun for the most part and it is extremely effective and in case you haven't noticed by now I have a huge ass annotation across the screen and I like to make an announcement. Any video I make from in the past and in the future, I, I have no affiliation. These videos have no affiliation with anything that I work on. These are completely my own statements and opinions. They're my own. I'm not paid to say this. I'm just saying it because I think the developers really need to fix their game. And that's really my end goal here because these three things that I've already found, there's more. Um, these three things that I've found are very game-breaking and kind of ruin the multiplayer experience. And as we all know, I play this game a lot on multiplayer, and I have a lot invested in playing in multiplayer. Um, I have a lot of friends that play multiplayer. It's just um, this is one of my, uh, my one of my hobbies here, and I just want to make sure it isn't uh, isn't screwed up. And the developers have been trying to use that against me. That's why I have to make the the whole annotation and announcement um, to take down my videos and because they're making things a little annoying I'm gonna make things a little annoying for them and I'm going to you know I'm going to make more of these exploit videos in the hopes that they fix them because they don't seem to like these videos but I'm trying I'm really trying here um, to be fair and you know just show them what's wrong so they can fix it anyway um, we have a crusader I am playing on UK test mode, so this Crusader is representative of the Panzer III. Um, the Panzer III will go up against the 6-pounder a lot, and the 6-pounder pretty much always kill the Panzer III. Um, unless you get within range, get lucky, HE shell it. Uh, so this Crusader AA, or not, I'm not saying Crusader A, but this Crusader has a 57 mil. It's got very similar characteristics to the 50 mil of the Panzer III. It has the same gun ranges, which is really all that matters in this unlimited range exploit. And down here, I have the 6-pounder. The 6-pounder has a max range of 120. So this Crusader, I'm clicking, trying to fire right now. It cannot be killed currently as long as this guy that's using the 6-pounder doesn't know how to fire shoot. So I'm out of range. I am relatively safe with this Crusader. So we're going to see how I can kill this 6-pounder when it's at 126 meters when my max range is only 100. So usually I take about... Um, 30 off the max range of whatever it is. So if it's 120, we'll see that in a second. Then I, uh, I aim down at 90, but uh, I'm going to aim down at 70 or around 70. And as we see, the gun barrel on this Crusader will be aimed 70 meters in front of the tank. So this is working very similar to the radio op mechanic. And then you just fire, just like the radio op. You have your cursor, you have your target in view, your cursor on your six pounder. And uh, you shoot as soon as you uh, get back in direct control. And it does take some timing to get this correct. If you get really good at it, if you practice a lot, then you can get these a lot better than I can. And you can also do it like this. If you go back and forth, you can also get some really nice shots. So let's try. So there you go. Back and forth or the other way. Both ways work. Um, I found success in in both ways there's really no better way it's just kind of personal preference my preference is kind of back and forth it's a lot easier for me to do it that way but you might find uh, other things uh, the other way easier so we're gonna go look at this half track now I'm at 130 range and I can actually pull this back to actually something crazy let's do it at uh, 1 150 here so we're pulling back with a Crusader 57 my max range is 120 this is at 156 now, so I'm going to aim a little bit behind and just pull up. And we hit him, it just didn't do any damage. We're going to try it again. The accuracy still gets worse, and there we go, we injured him. So he's pretty much out of the fight. Uh, the accuracy still gets worse, and also the penetration still goes down. But um, you can hit some crazy shots, and if you get really good at this, it's very game-breaking. It is extremely game-breaking. I've used this in tournament games. Um, you can kill a lot of things like this. Like you can kill 75 AA from Japan, and it's just it's just not uh, it's just really game breaking. It really ruins countries that rely on AT guns, such as UK with their six pounder and the 93 millimeter Vickers, and also Japan with the 75 AA. Um, it really hurts the AT guns, but you can still do some damage because HE shells don't lose penetration over distance because they don't have penetration to start with. 
So let's take a look at, uh, here's a Sherman and the Firefly, just another example here. Um, I'm going to go do my back and forth technique again, and we're going to we're gonna hit this from what range are we at? 142. I think the max range is 130 on the Firefly, possibly. It might be 140, so we'll back it up to 150. And we're just going to go back and forth here. And it is, it is just, actually, this is a little beneath that hill. It's going to be hard to hit. It's got a little hold down position there. See if we get a moving shot. And the moving shot! Oh, that is just deadly. I killed him at... And I kind of killed him in range there. Um, I'll kill the half track. But the, the same principle still applies. It is just very, very effective once you get a little more practiced with it than myself. And also, the terrain is a little, a little wonky here. But it is very effective. So, I hope you guys... Uh, Heard me say effective enough times, and try it yourselves, because it is it is deadly. And there goes the half track at what range? What range is this? 164. The half track has been killed. And I've used this to great effect in tournament games, in pub games. It is very sneaky because the uh, your opponent really can't tell what you're doing. And it's not something like radio opping across the map. This is very stealthy exploits. These are hard to hard to detect if it's happening against you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This video, once again, is my own thoughts and opinions. I'm just trying to help the developers fix the game to see what problems there are, and here's a problem. Please fix this. It is, uh, it is ruining the multiplayer a little bit. Anyway, see you guys next time. Judska out.